Matthew Latawex says, I was going to say JF is sounding a bit like a Sigma male grandset type. I am a bit worried, but who knows? Maybe he's right. Listen, I don't care about how I sound because anyways, those are not my thoughts. Those are the sculpting effect of a Sikh society. And so I converge toward the, these sets of beliefs in my life, not because those were my original beliefs. I've converged toward this because it was the only way to survive. It was the only way to have babies. It was the only way to get the woman. So don't blame the player, blame the game. Shrigma male, and I don't know this whole appellation, Sigma male, Alpha male, Delta male. I hear it's something that uh, Owen Benjamin is uh, talking about very often, but uh, you'd, have to, you'd have to give me definitions. Is there even a website that this Sigma male uh, definition, Alpha, Delta, can I find this? Oh boy. The six male personalities. The alpha versus beta. The alpha is confident, outgoing, leader, charismatic. The beta is friendly, reserved, submissive, loyal. The gamma male is adventurous, eager, aware, empathic, empathetic. So what the gamma male is like uh, those hippies that farm vegetables and stuff. The Omega male is self-assured, driven, intelligent, has diversified interests. My diversified interests are quite specific, I have to say. The Delta male is resigned, reasonful, self-sabotaging, and lonely. And the Sigma male is cunning, self-confident, likable, calculated. I mean, I can adhere to a few of these characteristics. Am I cunning? Maybe. But I didn't want to be cunning. All I wanted in life was a stable family. All I wanted in life was this. I wanted to be promising my eternal love to someone. And she would do the same, and we would stay together forever. Am I cunning? Well, in the face of these betrayals that I've been the victim of, I have become cunning. I am yelling at the, the state of the world, not out of resentment, out of a desire to change it and destroy it. Mama JF says, I think he said Vox Day invented this or something. I don't know. I don't know who invented this. Uh, that's, that's a blog at Brendan Gale. So self-confident. I mean, again, self-confidence is something I had to build because of the toughness of the world. Uh, it's not like I'm born self-confident. I'm born with an ability to be cunning and self-confident. But I, I wasn't particularly self-confident before I saw that. In this world, you essentially have to imperialistically grab whatever it is that you want from it and claim it like it's your property. I never wanted to do that. He's likable. That's probably the one characteristic of the Sigma that doesn't fit me at all. I'm likable maybe for you guys, maybe for a handful of weirdos on the internet but I don't think I'm likable in general. He says, unless you are very good at seeing through the charm and manipulation of a Sigma male, he is a very likable person. People appreciate that they are not afraid to play by their own rules and are not constantly searching for social validation as a lesser person would. These types of men are often going to associate with the Alpha and Omega personalities as they can all get along at the top in their own ways. The likability and cunning actions of the Sigma male are enough to often get him in whatever friend group or situation in which he wants to be. That's definitely not me. I'm not a man of charm and manipulation. You like me if you like me, but I'm not trying to be liked. 
he is calculated. Well, I'm a calculated guy, but I don't like evil calculations. I am an intellectual, and I don't know that my behavior qualifies as calculated. Uh, Stone Dust Bear says Vox Day has originally came up with this classification. Uh, what have you just read is not it. Okay, Paul Zuck says here's the link to the true classification. Wow. And so now we have the original Alpha Game Plan the sociosexual hierarchy of Western civilization. Now we're getting deep into the internet, boys. This is this is the dark web. This is uh, this is HTML, like you've never seen. Maybe if if you're a young man watching my shows, you've al always thought that you know the internet was about the video or something, but no. Originally, this was all networks of HTTP requests just shooting through the interwebs, the www, web 1.0, as LV Archer says. Let's see what they have to say. The Alpha is the tall, good-looking guy who is the center of both male and female attention, the classic star of the football team who is dating the prettiest cheerleader. Okay, that's not me. I'm not, I, I'm an Alpha of some kind in terms of standing in the community in terms of uh, in terms of public display but i'm definitely not like the the guy of the football team i'm definitely not this beta as well i'm definitely not a beta delta the normal guy deltas are the great majority of men they can't attract the most attractive woman so they usually aim for the second tier woman with very limited success and stubbornly resist paying attention to all of the third tier women who are comfortably in their ter in their league. This is ironic because deltas would almost always be happier with their closest female equivalents. Well, that's harsh. <coughs> Matthew says, Jeff, basically Sigma Male is the new version of Chad, with his own lore of constantly earning money, buying boats, owning luxury cars, etc just being ruthless and building his status. Well, even that though, am I this? Like, um, I'm definitely not the owner of a boat. Uh, when a Delta does manage to land a second tier woman, he is constantly afraid that she will lose interest in him and will not infrequently drive her into the very loss of interest he fears by his non-stop dancing of attendance upon her. In a social setting, the deltas are the men clustered together in groups, each of them making an occasional foray towards various small gaggles of women before beating a hasty retreat when direct eye contact and engaged responses are not forthcoming. Deltas tend to put the female sex on pedestals and have overly optimistic expectations of them. If a man rhapsodizes about his better half or is an inveterate white knight, he is almost certainly a delta. Okay, well, I'm not a delta. They say that lifetime sexual partners are 1 to 1.5x average. Gamma. The introspective, the unusual, the unattractive, and all too often the bitter. Gammas are often intelligent, usually unsuccessful with women, and not uncommonly all but invisible to them. The gamma alternates between placing women on pedestals and hating the entire sex. This mostly depends upon whether an attractive woman happened to notice his existence or not that day. Too introspective for their own good, gammas are the men who obsess over individual women for extended periods of time and supply the ranks of stalkers psycho-jealous ex-boyfriends and the authors of excruciatingly romantic rhyming doggerel. In the unlikely event they are at the party, they are probably in the corner. Well, I'm kind of a gamma, but I'm a gamma who has, uh, who has moved on. I have moved on, I have understood that uh, I had to engage in the game, and the game was not the way I wanted it to be, but it was the game, and I had to play it. 
Matthew Letterwax says, Jeff, no, I don't think you are this. I just meant that you were mentioning something like go out to the city, talk with all of them, tell them you want to fuck, ignore the losses, kind of Sigma male. But yeah, I mean, you have to take what's good, you know, if, uh, if the Sigma males have discovered something that is useful, we should use it. <coughs> Omega, the truly unfortunate. Omegas are the social losers who were never in the game. Sometimes creepy, sometimes damaged, often clueless and always undesirable. They're not at the party. It would never have crossed anyone's mind to invite them in the first place. Omegas are either totally indifferent to women or hate them with a borderline... Okay, <laughs> so they are... Uh, the Omega are the total loser. And the Sigma. The outsider who doesn't play the social game and manage to win at it anyhow. Oh, that's that's a, that's a description of me. The Sigma is hated by Alphas. Oh, that's a description of me. Because Sigmas are the only men who don't accept or at least acknowledge, however grudgingly, their social dominance. That's me. Nota bene. Alphas absolutely hate to be laughed at, and a Sigma can often enrage an Alpha by doing nothing more than smiling at him. That's me. Everyone else is vaguely confused by them. That's me. In a social situation, the Sigma is the man who stops in briefly to say hello to a few friends accompanied by a tier 1 girl that no one has ever seen before. Sigmas like women, but tend to be contemptuous of them. They are usually considered to be strange. Gammas often like to think they are Sigmas, failing to understand that Sigmas are not social rejects. They are at the top of the social hierarchy, despite their refusal to play by its rules. Lifetime sexual partners, 4x average plus. 4x! That's where we are at, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a Sigma. Lambda. Those men who have quite literally no interest in conventional male-female sexual relations, they clearly have their own hierarchy of sorts, but I can't say that I know much about it other than it appears to somehow involve youth, free weights, and mustaches. <coughs> I'm probably not a Lambda. Uh, Matthew Letterwex says, Jeff, I think those labels aren't even descriptive of real people. I think it's almost like horoscope for men. Yeah, but uh, he captured uh, something in my Sigma, <coughs> in his Sigma description. Very good writing by Vox Day uh, in this case. <coughs> 